Hey guys, what is up? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you a father-son dual commentary, and of course, it's with my father. Introduce yourself. What's up, warriors? It's Quad Father here. Yeah, so today we thought we'd talk about something a little bit different, you know, out of the regular, out of the norm, and my dad has a story for us. Well, it's sort of a story. He read it from an article, so here you go. Read the article. Yeah, it was in December 2012 that this gal by the name of Aubrey Ireland... So pretty recent. Yeah, convinced a judge that her parents had been harassing her, and so she won a stalking suit. She claimed that her parents often drove to her college unannounced and wrongly accused college. her yeah, of oh, promiscuity, so illegal drugs, and suffering from mental problems. So they basically, they, they want her to be crazy. They don't know if she's crazy. They just constantly stalk her, hoping, I wonder if our daughter's, daughter's crazy. If we're going to find out today she's crazy, they want her to be crazy, basically. Yeah, well, it seems like it runs in the family, right? I mean, her parents Probably. Had, to be, <laughs> had to be crazy to do that. Yeah. But, you know, that got me to thinking that... Uh, you know, uh, how much par in involvement should a parent have in a kid's life? Should we be able to have all your access codes? Should we be able to know your emails, follow you on Twitter, you know, have dual comms with you, you know, things like that? <laughs> What's too much? Well, I feel too much is like for it's forcing them. I mean, most of the kids, like if you ask for my Facebook password, you know, I'll give it to you straight up. I, right. I really don't care. I'm not even on Facebook. Right. If you ask for my Twitter, I will because the only Twitter I have is Quantum FT. You guys can follow me there down in the description below. There's a link daily updates, but that's beside the point. But if I if you ask for my Twitter password, I give it to you just because I all I do is tweet for YouTube and everything and just interact with subscribers. But I feel like that's that's sort of going a little bit too far asking for. Everything and visiting their college off on random basis is if you just randomly visited my school and say oh hey dad what's up but if you did it like every day and it was just like random like you had no reason you weren't bringing me lunch okay. or anything it, it would just right. be start to get a little bit weird yeah well I mean and, and you're you know 13 and so shouldn't shouldn't kids have a little bit of freedom like maybe when they get 16 17 shouldn't they have some privacy I believe so. I mean, I, I don't really spend too much time in my own room, but I feel that people shouldn't be able to, or people, parents shouldn't be able to go through <laughs> the child's room all the time. So, so there is there is a line. It, it can be crossed, right? I mean, oh, definitely. The, the parents that we're reading about right now did oh. cross the line, or they are right now. Whether yeah, they're still going on. Or yeah, not. and even a judge agreed that that she actually won, I think, like ten grand or something for her parents. I want ten grand. Her. So, so what do you what would you think if like I put there's this thi uh, part of a cell phone that I can say, all right, I want to be a chaperone. And I can always know. I can, like, track you like like a UAV on a map. <laughs> UAV constant orbital V-set. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can tell your direction. <laughs> if you're shooting, you know, I got to be able to check up on you. you know? If I was shooting, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, please. my. <laughs> no, yeah, call, call the police myself. Yeah, that'd so, be dangerous. So do, you think, so do you think that chaperone thing would be too much? Eh, I mean, for me personally, no. I mean, I, I feel like it's too much, yeah, be, because I don't really do anything bad, as far okay. as you know, at least. You are not but, trying to get away with anything? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't go anywhere. I don't have a car. I don't have a driver's license. I'm yeah. not going to ride my bike everywhere. Of course, and and I'm sitting here. I'm your dad, so you wouldn't tell me if you were trying to get away with things, right? Exactly. There you go. Right. Right. So then what should I be able to grab your phone at any time I want and just read all your texts? Why not? I mean, sh uh, I don't know. Hmm. I feel like you should ask. It, okay. Not just randomly, like, if I go off to the bathroom and I leave my phone in the living room or on my desk or something like that, you shouldn't be able just to walk up and secretly do it. You should at least have to tell me or inform me, or you should ask permission of some sort or other. Okay, well, what about in a relationship? What if you had, like, a girlfriend who, um, you know, would just grab your phone every once in a while? Is that cool? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if I do the same to her, so if it was a mutual feeling, if I felt like I needed to check on her phone every couple weeks or every day or so, that's a little bit much, but if I needed to, then uh, if I did it, then I probably would let her. <laughs> it's good for you, but not good for her? <laughs> yeah, definitely. That that works with basically everything. Good for me, but not good for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know what? I think there's something wrong in a relationship if you have to do that stuff. I don't feel like I have to do that stuff. Matter of fact, I was for a while I was getting your tweet alerts. I don't want them, man. That's that's too much information. I mean, yeah, it's not you're like spammed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't want. I don't want it, you. You put out a lot of content, and uh, I don't need to monitor it all the time. And I think if you now, if you started doing stuff that made me question you, then I'd start checking on you more. But just as a general rule, I think you've earned trust, and so I'll give you trust until you are in a position where you have not earned my trust again. Yeah, where I don't deserve it anymore. If there is a reason why I don't deserve it, then you just have to you, you have to step it up a little bit. Right, right, exactly. I have to start researching you and put on that chaperone thing, and you know, you know, I'll just there is a there is yeah. an app where you can turn on someone's camera, 
You know, like, it, yeah, like on an iPhone, you can oh all of a sudden turn on the camera. So, <laughs> so you know, you got to be careful of that, too. So, by the way, I'm that's getting you an iPhone, just so you know. It's, I'll take it. <laughs> I just put it in my pocket all day, every day. <laughs> yeah, just, I don't think I'd want to see that. Good luck looking in my pocket, Dad. <laughs> I don't. Pocket's pretty boring. You need a little light. Uh, a little light. Oh, that, that's just getting a little bit too high tech for me nowadays. I mean, yeah, you know. Technology nowadays. Whew, that's me, Mr. Techie. Up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so what do you think about uh, switching it around? You know, parents, kids checking on parents. <laughs> I didn't even know. I mean, I've heard a couple parents, not parents, but kids finding out about their parents, about maybe cheating or something. I know you've been a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm just, what? I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking. Just wait a minute. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't post this. No. Yeah, I, I, know I know you're joking around. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, well, that brings up a whole thing. What if you know a secret about one parent and the other one doesn't know? But that's not for this this, uh, this commentary. No, yeah. no, no. So, no, what do you think? You think you think kids should be able to check on parents, or you think it goes one way only? I, I think it could go both. I don't really feel like you do too much out of your life that I don't know about. But no, I'm pretty boring. Yeah, that, that, that's it. I mean, that's really all you got. Well, what about teachers? Boring. Let's say if you're texting in class, you think a teacher should be able to pick up your phone? No, punch her right in the nipples. Oh, wow. I don't think you should do that. That's not a good choice, especially if it's a man. Exactly. You know? But, okay, so, so there are certain people that you should, maybe parents should check up. Because on the other, other side of it is an irresponsible parent doesn't ever check on their kids, and they can get away with anything. That is true. I've met a few people like that here and there. Yeah, and, and I think, I, I don't know. I, I think if you're going to be a responsible parent, you have to check up on them. If you're not, then you're not doing it right. Exactly. There's only really one way. That's right. <laughs> the, my way. My exactly. Way. My way only, not yours. You win, I lose. Yeah, I pay or the rent. I you win, know how you that lose. works. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like rating down below. If we could try and hit 115 likes, that'd be really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed Father Sunday. There will be another Father Sunday next Sunday. So it's been Quadum FT. And Dad, see if I don't die.